Statesman Nation here with Jack Kendall Brown, a freshman men's soccer player. Um, appreciate you coming in for a little bit, bud. Um, well, uh, first, uh, actually, should say where you're from, Chelmsford, England, which is a little north, you said, of, uh, yeah. of London in that area. So um, you're about uh, two, mo almost two months and well, actually over two months since you uh, stepped on uh, William Penn's campus. Uh, tell us how your freshman year is going. Um, well, off the field is going pretty well, I think, academically yeah. and coping with the classes and sure. feel like I'm fitting in outside of, the, of football as well. Right. But obviously on the field we've had quite a good season overall. Sure. Um, recently the results haven't been too great, but early on we, we um, got some wins and right. had some great results like against Grandview and yeah. some great away wins. So um, definitely. No, I think I'm doing quite well so yeah, far. Yeah, definitely. So. Um, talk about, uh, you know, as a freshman, stepping right in, um, I don't know what your expectations were coming in, but you know, we've got a, a very big roster, obviously, yeah. a lot of kids out there, a lot of talent, but stepping in as a freshman and being um, a starter right out of the, the gate there, um, talk about what your expectations were, and if uh, I'm, I'm sure you're never happy, never settled on yeah. you know, where you're at, but you've got to be happy being able to have such a big role as a freshman. Yeah, definitely. I, obviously, before I didn't really expect anything, I sort of just came in try hard as I can, put sure. as much effort as I can, and if that made me play on the side, then so be it. But right. I feel like I'm coping with the pressure that sure. all the freshmen have been put under. So likes of Angus, Lewis, right. even Max in goal, like the yeah. starting freshmen, I feel like we've, we're all coping with the pressure and it's it's been good for us. It's yeah. improved us a lot, definitely. Yeah. Definite. yeah, I don't think there's any question that uh, you guys have stepped right in and, and made a big impression on the team, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Max in goal. Uh, what is what's that like um, knowing that uh, you've got a freshman right behind you too? I mean, they, yeah, you obviously feel comfortable, um, you know, in your own skills and feel comfortable in his skills. But you guys have a lot of you know new kids out yeah. there and, and still trying to, to figure out the, the college game. But um, you know, talk about uh, your role, both the leadership, um, you know, vocally or just you know leading by example. But um, you know, where where you feel like you fit in there. I feel like I'll try and organise the back four, obviously playing at left back, then yeah. I can see all the whole of the pitch, so I sure. can organise Lewis and Ben, obviously Ben's out injured now, right. it's a bit of a disappointment, Right. but also whoever's in front of me, if it's Angelo, Facundo, mm -hmm. whoever, I try, try and organise sort of the left sure. side and the back four, Right. and as part of like the freshman group, if you like, we sort of stick together and right. try and build up a bit of relationship together, so yeah, definitely. I think everyone is sort of a leader, if you like, in the right. freshman group. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, Obviously, you just uh, you know, mentioned that uh, Ben's out for yeah. I don't I don't I don't know personally how long. Um, hopefully, not long. But um, your role has obviously heightened. Yeah, uh, it's it's definitely increased and a little more pressure on you. Are are you ready for that? Are you excited about that? And um, what what have the coaches been telling you? Well, I think I'm going to be moving across to centre back, sort of okay. like slotting in for Ben with me and Lewis playing there. Right. So obviously both freshmen, but I think we'll be able to cope with it. Sure. We've been doing well for the first two months, so yeah. and also the team's getting better as the season goes on. So yeah. now I think we'll be fine. Yeah, um, you know, scoring uh, at the start seemed like it was a little bit of a problem, and, and that's um, you know obviously obviously the other end of the pitch for you guys. But um, when the scoring's not there, um, is that something that you guys feel or right, well, we really need to step yeah. up and make sure that we're doing our side of of the thing of of the of the field and make sure that okay. We can win these games two one or yeah. or one zero or whatever it may be because we we have that that strength. Um, any extra pressure on you uh, when when the scoring's not there or just keep uh, on doing no, what I think, you're yeah, doing. just keep doing our job and just because we know the Tambo likes Tambo Angelo they they will yeah. score eventually. Right. It's just we just got to keep doing our job and as long as we keep giving the ball, they'll keep getting sure. the chances. So yeah, no, we just sure. keep doing our thing. Definitely. Coming off a big result against uh, Waldorf, you guys have to feel very, uh, very confident going into Missouri Valley. But you got a top ten team, and, yeah. and it's not surprising. We knew coming into this new conference, it was going to be tough week in week out. I mean, take out Evangel, the new, um, you know, new program this year. Almost every game has been a battle for you guys, and yeah. unfortunately, still four and two. That's a, a great result so far. Uh, talk about what you're expecting from Missouri Valley and, and where you guys feel right now? Um, it's going to be a very tough game. They're a very good football inside and they like to pass it about and keep the ball. But I think we'll be able to cope with that and sort of implement our own game on them. Sure. But um, no, we know it's going to be very tough going there, especially away. Right. 
so yeah, we just got to do our do our job, do what we've been told by Jamie sure. and the coaches, and try and get a result. Right. You know, it'll be a, a late game. You know, so it's going to be even colder yeah, than yeah. <laughs> expecting. Um, you know, northern northern side of England. Uh, you've probably played in a lot of cold games. Um, it's not the coldest no, place on, on no, earth, but yeah. you know, you guys. Uh, you know, it's definitely gets on on the colder end. So, what do you prefer to play in? Do you like these these colder games where you're bundled up a little bit more? Maybe even have to pop on the, yeah. the gloves or whatever. Or um, is that not an, an issue? For um, you? Either way, if it's hot or cold. But I, yeah, I'm much. Well, I'm suited to playing in the cold, right, if you like, sure. so it's not much of a problem for me. Right. But no, yeah, I don't mind either way. Yeah, well, we've got enough guys. I think uh, Angus might be the only one that's yeah, really going yeah, to yeah. have a deal with uh, the cold a little bit, but I think everybody else should be able to handle it pretty well. Uh, maybe Johnny for that reason, for yeah. being in, in California. So, all right, man, well, we'll get right into the, the personal side of stuff. Um, fun to talk about soccer, but this is this is the bread and butter, I okay. think. This is what makes you guys tick. So, um, all right, what is your nickname? Well, uh, sort of, they no normally call me KB or JKB, sure. Sure. Kindle, with, but anything to do with my name. Too right, yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, you know, coming across the pond, talk about why you chose William Penn. Obviously, we've got a lot of kids from all over the place, um, but why did you choose to come to William Penn? Um, I felt it was the best opportunity for me to sort of continue playing football at a right. higher standard, and I think the the way Dan spoke to me was if he was most interested in me and he's sort of the most right. welcoming, if you like. And it, I felt it was going to be the best opportunity to actually play some football instead of... Sure. Because obviously, being a freshman, you're not supposed to start and right, be part right. of the varsity side, but I felt like this was would have been the best opportunity, and it has. So. Sure, definitely. Um, academically, you're majoring in... Uh, sports management. Okay. And what is... I mean, just a, you're just a freshman, so a long way to yeah. figure this all out, but uh, your goal, um, your career aspirations with that? Um, yeah, I don't really think that far ahead, yeah. but... Um, <laughs> Um, anything to do with sport, whether it's sure. the sort of behind the scenes in a in a sports team, whether it's football, right. anything to do with that really, I think I'm right. best suited for. Sure, very cool. All right, uh, describe Coach Highcock in one word. Um, determined. Determined. Uh, if you were a superhero, who would you be? Um, Superman. Superman. Yeah. Okay. Man, you could fly back and forth in London yeah. in just seconds, <laughs> so yeah. it'd be great. Um, people say you look like? Um, well, this is before I even came here. On the sort of first week of training, and one of the boys, Andy and X and all them, they uh, said I looked like Randall for recess. No. <laughs> there you go. So it's not the best look. Right. Like, <laughs> you get what you get. Uh, Favourite food? Um, my mum's chilli at home. Okay. Chilli con carne at home. Yeah. Favourite movie? Uh, Step Brothers. Okay. Favorite TV show? I just finished Prison Break, so probably okay. Prison Break, isn't it? Uh, what is your goal in soccer? Well, here at Penn, I'd have to say try and reach the nationals, whether it's this year or in the next coming years. Right. Um, but past William Penn, I'd have to say to try and play as highest highest level I can. Sure, definitely. Uh, currently listening to in your iPod or wherever. Um, a lot of house music, okay. kind of dance music, that type of thing. Um, some English bands as well, but yeah, right. most of that kind of stuff. Very cool. Uh, if you had a million dollars, which equates to whatever in euros, <laughs> something, um, uh, what would you do with that million dollars? Um, probably buy a very big house, yeah. Okay. If you were not playing soccer, what sport would you play? Uh, golf, I think. Okay. Yeah. Got a little, little linkster in you, huh? Yeah. There you go. Uh, your favorite sports hero? Um, from a team back home, Tottenham, probably have to be Deadly King. Okay. And I'm guessing your favourite team then would yeah. be Tottenham. Tottenham, yeah. Tottenham. Sure. Not a man, not a man you guy. No, huh? no, definitely. I think you're either, it's one of those things like Yankees over here, either you love them or you hate them. Yeah. It's awesome. no middle ground there. Uh, person in history you'd most like to meet? Um. It doesn't have to be anybody famous, could be a family member you never had an opportunity to meet yet. Uh, Pele probably. Okay. Very cool. All right, well, kind of uh, talked about this a little bit earlier, but if you are on the other side of the table trying to recruit someone, and, and you'll have this opportunity, and maybe you've already talked to friends back home, but um, t talking to a recruit, trying to sell them on William Penn, what do you tell them? I tell them it's a very welcoming place, and the whole school will op let open their arms and right. let you come in sort of thing. Sure. Um, 
I say the facilities are brilliant for the for sports, where it, wherever sport you're in, or wherever it's right. football or anything. Um, obviously, the team's getting a lot better. We're improving each year, I think. Yeah. Uh, the coaches are great. They give you advice. They're always there for you. Sure. Um, but yeah, no, just selling things. I think all that fun stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, and obviously with a, a lot of international players, um, you're not going to be the only one no. coming from, from wherever you're coming. So uh, definitely a, a nice melting pot that we've got going on for the whole yeah. university, but especially the men's soccer team. So, all right. Well, Jack Kendall Brown, appreciate you sitting down for a few minutes. Um, mm -hmm. Best of luck tomorrow, Missouri Valley at Marshall, Missouri. Uh, 8 o'clock start for you guys. So late start, but hopefully uh, pick up a big win. Yeah. Keep it rolling. Uh, move yourselves up a little bit higher in the standings. So, all right. All right thanks. Thank you. Cheers.